All right, what is up, Tigers? If you're watching today, you already know it's a Friday, which means Tiger Morning News is back with another Friday morning show. As always, my name is Lincoln. This is Dean. We got Luke behind the track house today, and we got other Luke taking pictures with a photography camera that some kid left behind. If you, if that was you, left the camera behind. Um, Luke's got it, so I'm gonna talk to him. All right. Um, that's all I got for now. Dean, what's our first video? Our first video today, we have a video about taking care of your mental health. Let's check it out. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Luke Ranger, and as you know, this week was Mental Health um, Awareness and Wellness Week. Um, the whole month of May is actually Mental Health and Awareness Week, uh, fun fact. Um, and throughout the week, you've heard lots of wellness tips and valuable mental health statistics um, in hopes of reducing the stigma surrounding mental health. Um, in our society. Um, now here's some takeaways uh, I wanted to leave you all going into the weekend from this week. Uh, number one is that we can all do better um, in being better listeners and work towards listening to understand uh, when someone is telling us about their struggles. Uh, number two is that mental health is just as important as your physical health. Uh, that's a really important one. Number three is that there is help out there, um, whether that be therapy, support groups, or trusted individuals around you in your school or community. Uh, number, and number four is that you are never alone and reaching out to loved or trusted ones can be easier than you may think. Um, and on the receiving end of that, um, we should all strive to be um, being more comfortable in striking up conversations uh, when we notice someone is struggling or think that someone we love may be struggling. I wanted to thank you all for listening to the announcements this week. Um, and I want to piece together kind of the themes of each day um, when we were on the announcements. Um, on Monday, we talked about kicking the stigma, which truly is the first step to all this. Um, and this leads into Tuesday's event, which was, or Tuesday's theme, which was breaking down the unknown. Um, we as humans are, you know, sometimes quick to judge the things that we don't always understand. Um, but hopefully little by little, as you've learned more um, this week, you've, um, you've kind of gathered the facts and data of mental health struggles in our society. Um, and finally, Wednesday and Thursday was all about seizing the awkward. Um, or rather learning to recognize that mental health should be able to be discussed comfortably um, without any judgment um, with the people around you. Um, so while this Mental Health Awareness Week may be coming to a close, um, I want its effects to be um, lingering on in the months to come um, and even into the next couple of school years. Uh, so with the help of Ms. Dodd in the counseling office, um, we've decided to start a mental health advocacy and support group here on campus. Um, the group is open to any student, um, regardless of grade. Um, and if you're interested, a form will be linked in the reflection form that is being sent out for feedback at the end of the week uh, for this Mental Health Awareness Week. Um, after filling out that anonymous form, students will have the option to fill out another form that has all that information about that group in there. The idea for this group, um, like we talked about, is destigmatizing mental health and promoting mental health um, awareness, education, and resources. Um, and it's also a great space for students to talk about um, issues that they struggle with and discuss maybe also what students and staff can do to better support our students on campus. Um, so while I invite, of course, all students to join, there are sp some specific things that um, we will be looking for hopefully in our members, just because you are a representation of our mission. And that is, um, we ask that you don't join this group to just put it on your college resume or your college applications. Um, that mindset is kind of toxic and harmful um, to the mission of this group. Um, we ask that you join out of the kindness of your heart and the desire to raise awareness and promote student and staff wellness here on campus. Um, I just wanna make sure everyone's on the same page about that. Um, another thing is it's a given, but please be okay with being uncomfortable. Um, there are sensitive topics that students may be wanting to share in this group and being open-minded and respectful to others' experiences is crucial. Um, and finally, there will be no officer positions, no leadership roles, anything like that, um, as I feel that that is more of a distraction and just an irrelevancy um, in terms of the goals of this group. Um, I think we need to all lift each other up, and if we just have select people in power, just I just don't think that's really relevant. Uh, so with that in mind, I encourage you all to fill out the form sent to everyone's emails if you wish to be a part of this group or at least find out more information for the time being. So yeah, thank you all for your listening this week and thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay, so obviously you guys watched that video, but if you missed some parts of it, um, 
Just make sure y'all know that anyone can be going through something. It doesn't matter how successful they are or anything like that, if they're an athlete or not. Everyone can be going through something. So, um, yeah, just do your part, whatever you're comfortable with, like smile in the hallway or hold the door for someone, you know, make someone's day. On a lighter note, Dean, what's our second video? Today we have another podcast, Luke Squared Podcast. It's going to be a Red Logos draft. So let's check it out. All right. What is good, Tigers? Today, me and Dean are back with another podcast. Today we're going to be going through top five um, companies that have red logos, right? Is that yep, what we did? Okay. that's right. Top five companies that have red logos. Okay. One of the loops. Do you have a number in mind? Yes. Okay. Dean, I'll let you pick first. I'm going to go with four. Six. It was four. Whoa. First time. All right. <laughs> I'm a number one pick, short and simple, the best fast food. No. Chipotle. God dang it, bro. God. I hate you. God dang it. Bro. Are you kidding me? Sorry, bro. <laughs> Todd, that's, a, that's like a knife to the heart. There's some feelings. Okay, well, um, number one for me, I'm gonna go Coca Cola. Okay, valid. I had that on my list. Okay. God damn it. Sorry, bro. So bad. Number two, I'm going Costco. Mm -hmm. Costco's red? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Costco. Yeah, yeah. It's like the wholesale's blue, but Kirk it's like Kirkland's signature, Costco. yeah. Okay, that's good. I, I didn't, I missed that one, I think. Okay, number two, I don't think you have this. I'm gonna go Red Bull. I did not have that on my list. I think it's a solid pick. I don't know if it's a number two pick. They Man, got an F1 car. I think it's more of like a three, maybe. Okay, I don't so think Costco's whatever. Two. At my number three, I got Chick Fil A. Not even that good. Got to keep it classy. It's not not even that good. Yeah, it is, bro. No, it's not. What are you ordering from there? Chicken sandwich. All right, yeah. It's that's good true. actually. Yeah, but that's true. Nothing else really is. Actually, I mean, what am I talking about? They they got good stuff. They have a nice logo. Okay. Um, my number three, I got the Marvel logo. Yeah, I thought about that one. That's that's a good logo. It's iconic. Yeah. I think it's a good logo. It's been around for ages. Valid. All right, my number four, I got Netflix. Oh, let's go. You missed one. Netflix is good, but I don't know what's better at number four. What? ESPN. <sighs> I had that at number five. <laughs> I had that at number five. Okay, I gotta let's go, go to a backup. <clears throat> that was a good pick. Uh, my number five. Wait, this is number five, right? Yeah. I got YouTube. Mm. No, who actually still watches a ton of YouTube? Like I used to be on. I all think it's time, a beautiful logo. Just, like, it's kind of an iconic logo. I think of it kind of like. Uh, yeah. They got like play buttons and stuff. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um. Okay, well, my number five. Um. I think I'm gonna go with Lego. Yeah, that's valid. Because, cause yeah, Legos are cool. I like Legos. I don't really have an honorable mention, but I will say I'm going to go with Yamaha, like the sports. They make pianos, too, and, like, a bunch of other crap. They make, like, toothbrushes. Yeah, they make water sports, too. Pretty and like sure. They got, they got a ton of random stuff. Okay, I'm going to go with Red Hot Chili Peppers at my honorable Ooh. mention. Okay, that's valid. Because I, I just, I don't know. The logo's cool, but I think Lego as a company is better than that. So th those two can be flip flop. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Yeah. I'm solid. That was All a good right. list. See you, Tigers. Thanks for watching. I wish I got Chipotle number one. I'm, I'm still hung up. That's like two weeks ago. I'm still pissed about that. Okay, um... Good luck to all you AP testers. A lot of you are already done, but, you know, it's Friday. Um, yeah. Actually, you're probably not even watching this. No. I don't know. I just know that I got AP US history, and I'm not excited for that. Um, this weekend, we got baseball at Volunteer Field in Anacortes at uh, 12, I think. And um, soccer plays Seahome. That, well, those are both district uh, playoff games. But enough about the weekend. Dean, do we got anything tonight? Uh, we have a game tonight, a lacrosse game at C.J. Woolley High School at 7 p.m. And I think that's it, right? So uh, have a great weekend, Tigers. Good luck to all sports.